Let's take a look at two problems taken from the 2018 Polish Junior Mathematical Olympiad. Here's the first one. It says, find all integers x, y, z such that x minus y, z equals 1 and x, z plus y equals 2. The first thing that came to my mind is that the terms in the left-hand sides of both the equations also give a product x, y, z, which is the only thing that is symmetrical among the two equations. Then I went to think how to achieve the x, y, z term. As I like playing around with numbers with less conventional tricks, I chose to square both sides of the equations because this will surely give me the terms x, y, z. Now after squaring, the equations become x squared minus 2xyz plus y squared z squared equals 1 and x squared z squared plus 2xyz plus y squared equals 4. Then from these equations, it seems the best way is to actually add them up and eliminate the xyz terms. Then the equation we have will be like this x squared plus y squared z squared plus x squared z squared plus y squared equals 5. It turns out that this can be factorized into x squared plus y squared. You can see these two terms actually have a common factor of z squared, and after taking out the z squared, we will have x squared and y squared left too. So x squared plus y squared times 1 plus z squared equals 5. Now the magic comes. We have managed to factorize one side and the other side is a prime. Moreover, the terms in left hand side are all obviously non-negative. In particular, 1 plus z squared is even positive. So we can skip the negative factors cases. Here are the cases that we need to take care of. 1 plus z squared equals 5 or 1 plus z squared equals 1. For 1 plus z squared equals 5, we have z squared equals 4 and so z equals 2 or z equals minus 2. When z is 2, we do not consider the case that x squared plus y squared is 1. Instead, we put it back into the original equation. So x minus 2y equals 1 and 2x plus y is 2. And for z equals minus 2, the system we'll have is x plus 2y equals 1 and minus 2x plus y is 2. Now I shall skip the system of linear equation solving process and just give you the final answer for these two systems. For the z equals 2 case, we'll have x equals 1 and y equals 0. And for the z equals minus 2 case, in fact, y would be 4 over 5, so it's actually non-integral, so no integral solution. Finally, for the third case, when 1 plus z squared is 1, then z is surely 0. And if we put this back into the original system, we will quickly get x equals 1 and y equals 2. So finally, the final solutions are one zero two and one two zero and these are the only two solutions that we are going to have so this is the end of the first problem here comes the second problem it says for any non-zero real numbers a b and c such that a squared plus a equals b squared b squared plus b equals c squared and c squared plus c equals a squared show that a minus b times b minus c times c minus a is always 1. So whenever I see these kind of equations, I will try to look for the symmetries among them. Apparently the variables in the equations follow a cyclic order, as in the left hand side goes like a, b and c, while right hand side goes like b, c and back to a. To reveal the symmetry, I decide to add them up. Now the equation becomes 
a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus a plus b plus c for left hand side and the right hand side will be a squared plus b squared plus c squared only so we can cancel the square terms out and we will have a plus b plus c equals zero okay so this is a very important tool we mark that down Now, having no idea where to go, let's look at the thing that we need to prove. A minus B, B minus C, C minus A. How can we get them from the equations we have? The answer is to produce difference of squares so we can get these terms when factorizing. So, for these three equations, I write A, B, C as subjects of these three equations. And we will have A equals b squared minus a squared b equals c squared minus b squared and c equals a squared minus c squared again the variables in the equations follow a cyclic order so we should put them all together in one equation so to reveal the symmetry the question is how we surely don't want to add them up because that does not show the symmetry and more importantly, we want to show the product of A minus B, B minus C, and C minus A is 1. So we have to multiply. Now multiplying, we will have A, B, C equals A, B, C equals B squared minus A squared times c squared minus b squared times a squared minus c squared and as i said before we have to factorize the right hand side a b c equals b minus a and then c minus b a minus c the terms that we want and the things that are b plus a c plus b and a plus c but what about the terms at the back, b plus a, c plus b, and a plus c. Now we have to recall that we actually have the sum of these three terms, a, b, c, to be zero. And we can put them into each of these three terms. So now, a, b, c equals b minus a, c minus b, a minus c. Notice that this part is the thing that we're aiming for. And the three terms at the back would be minus C, minus A, and minus B, respectively. Now we can cancel out the A, B, C, and so we'll get minus 1 to the power 3 times the highlighted terms is 1. Now we multiply minus 1 into each of the three terms b minus a c minus b and a minus c we'll get a minus b times b minus c times c minus a okay and we actually have done nothing on the right hand side so we keep that as one so we finally reach our goal So I hope you enjoyed taking out the symmetries between the equations and let's stop here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternative methods in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now by clicking on the subscribe button. Thank you for your support. See you next time.